What's up everyone? It's Megan here with AMI Clubware and I'm bringing you another Cooking with Megan. And today's show I'm going to show you how to make five lunches that do not require a microwave. So if you're going to school taking a lunch or maybe at work you don't have access to a microwave, these meals are going to be perfect for you. The next dish that we're going to be making is a kind of a new take on the chicken Waldorf salad. We're actually going to be making chicken Waldorf lettuce cups and we're also going to accompany that with some hummus and vegetables. The things that you need to make this are lettuce, walnuts, mayo, grapes, raisins, cinnamon, and chicken. And then for the hummus, all you need is your hummus and whatever vegetables you would like to pair. To get started with our Waldorf, I already have about a cup and a half of my shredded rotisserie chicken in here that we bought earlier in the week. And to that, I'm going to add about two tablespoons of mayo. This is olive oil mayo. It's a little bit better for you than the regular, and it tastes the same to me. It's just a different kind of oil that they use. It's all mixed up there. And now I'm just gonna add one celery stick, maybe a little bit less, because I'm not a huge fan of celery. Little raisin, a little bit of raisins in there. I'm gonna do uh, a little bit more. I like raisins. So I have like two little pinches of raisins in here. Some grapes. I'll grab some loose grapes here. I'm gonna cut these up because they're pretty big. So I just added like a small handful of grapes. I'm just cutting these in fourths. So I have my bag open now. I'm just gonna take about that much almonds there. And I'm just gonna give these a quick little chop here. Um, I chopped apples up in this fun little chopper that my mom has. It's great for chopping up vegetables and fruit. So I have one apple in here, but I don't think I'm gonna do the whole guy. I think I'm just gonna do half of it since we already have quite a bit going on in there. So I just have one leaf of lettuce and we're just gonna scoop up our salad mixture here. Get it in there, kind of like a taco. And then you can stick a toothpick in these when you put them in your container when you take them with you. To, so that they'll stay. I'm gonna get another leaf. Try to find a big leaf. Here we go. Yeah. Fill those bad boys. We have a little bit extra. Hmm. Maybe some dinner later. Just kind of roll that up. And those are our Waldorf lettuce wraps. And we're just gonna, nothing special when you're pairing the hummus and vegetables with this. I'm just taking the hummus that we used in our hummus sandwich and I have these awesome individually packed carrots and they're just these little, there's four little baggies here so they're really easy to grab and go. So you just, if you're running late, you just grab a package of these. You can even take this whole container, split it up into a smaller container. It's a really good snack and that's gonna be really good paired with our lettuce wraps. So the next recipe I'm gonna show you guys is the black bean wrap. And the things that you're gonna need to make this wrap are a whole wheat tortilla, some lettuce, cheese, onions, black beans, avocado, bell pepper, salsa, and some non-fat Greek yogurt. So this recipe is really easy. Essentially what we're doing is kind of taking the taco salad that we made earlier this week and we're leaving out the chicken but we're pretty much using all the same ingredients and we're adding the yogurt to make the wrap. And what I have here is just a low carb wheat tortilla. These are really, really delicious and there's only 80 calories per tortilla. And now we're gonna fill it. So I'm just gonna put some of my black beans in here a tablespoon of onion. Um, let's add our avocado. It doesn't really matter what order you add these in. It's all gonna taste the same when it's all put together. And then I'm just gonna take a few leaves of lettuce. And this recipe, if you have sour cream, this recipe does call for sour cream, but since I was trying to keep the ingredients the same and so you don't have to buy a whole bunch of ingredients, we're using Greek yogurt because we're 
using the Greek yogurt in our fruit salad. And you can also use yogurt for breakfast. So it's really good um, ingredient to have in your fridge because it goes with a lot of things. So now we're going to sprinkle on a fourth a cup of cheese, our bell pepper. Let's get our salsa on there. Um, you could also add your salsa, two small dollops of that on here to kind of be like our sour cream. And now all we have to do is wrap up this big bad boy. You can see this thing. This thing is huge. So we're going to attempt to wrap, but I'm not a very good burrito wrapper. So here's our gigantic wrap that's falling out everywhere. So maybe you can do a better job wrapping that than I did. but. This is how to make the black bean wrap. So the last recipe I'm gonna do is a chicken sandwich, very simple. The ingredients that you need for this are bread, onion, tomato, avocado, lettuce, chicken, and ranch. So with this sandwich, basically all we're doing is taking our chicken and all of our leftover vegetables that we have, putting them together and putting some ranch on there, and making a delicious sandwich for our day five meal. So I just have some buttermilk ranch here, or you could use any other kind of dressing you want. You can get funky with it, you know, add some Thousand Island dressing, you can get some Chipotle ranch, grab some of our chicken, and I'm gonna put onion, because I like onion. Got some sliced tomatoes, some leaves, some lettuce, and last but not least, the most amazing part, we're using the other half of our avocado from earlier this week. If you really like ranch, you can put ranch on the other side of this, or just set that right on top. And voila, we have our day five chicken sandwich. Thanks for watching my cool cold lunch ideas. Stick around for the following weeks to see what other cooking ideas I have. See you next time and thanks for watching.